Today I'm challenging you to solve three difficult chess puzzles. Each of these puzzles is from a real life game that did happen. You will be given one minute to solve each problem, but if you don't want to take the minute, pause the video and solve the problem on your own time. You will be given a score out of 10 points for every single problem with a maximum score of 30. This score is based on how many moves you found to solve the problem and its critical ideas. I'm wishing you all the best of luck. Here is puzzle number one. Here is puzzle number one. It is white to play and win. Your time starts now. I hoped you solved this puzzle well. Here is the solution to puzzle number one. In this position, it was keen to observe that this pawn on g6 was pinned to its king by this queen, and this pawn was inflicting that damage. If you found h takes g6, that is two points out of 10 that you already have in the bag. Here, the response is pretty forced. If the king doesn't take, so king g8 or king h8, you just have queen g4 and this plan is infiable. If you found the king g8 idea with queen g4 to go to h5, that is another point for a maximum of three so far. After h takes g6, however, there is also queen takes g6. And here, the big money shot of points is rook f5, and this is worth four points. Rook f5 has the ingenious threat of threatening rook h5 check, winning the queen. And here there's only two types of defenses, each worth points as well. If you found bishop g5 in this position to try to intercept the rook and thus giving a bishop but surviving for the black pieces, this is worth one point. If you found king h8 deriving from that x-ray on the queen and king, and now rook f8, this is another and your final two points. Here, this discovery check wins the queen, if not for king h7 defending. And here we have queen takes g6 check as Vishenzug that forces the king to take back. And now rook takes b8 and we are up a full rook. That is for a maximum of 10 points this round. I hope you did well. This game was played between Mikhail Shigorin and Alize in 1901 Moscow, Russia. This is problem number two. It is white to play and win. The timer starts now. Half of the points given for the second problem here is based on seeing the move number one and its threats. And that was queen b2 here. Here it is nice to be observed that we are threatening knight takes g6. This is part of the five points. If queen takes, we have rook c8 discovery check on this king opened up by this queen and then the knight would go back and now we have rook takes f8 checkmate. The other part of the five points is h takes g6 and rook h3 checkmate. 
if you only found half of these variations, you can split your queen b2 in half. In this solution, the second most important part was seeing black's defense knight c4. And here, if you see knight c4, only seeing the defense is worth three points. You could be at eight points right now, which is crazy. And here, seeing knight takes g6 anyways is very, very good. That's your remaining two points on condition that you see this entire variation. Now, on h takes, there's still rook h3. Having said that you've already seen that in the first solution, these are already, already points given. But if you have seen queen takes g6, rook takes c4, check on the king here, and then queen g7, queen takes g7, king takes, and then rook c7, check. If you saw this, winning this pawn and having two pawns up in the end game, this is the full two points and your remaining of the 10 points given for solution number two. This game was played between Furman and Vasily Smyslov in 1949. You can have a maximum of 20 points right now coming into puzzle number three. White to play and win in this puzzle number three. Best of wishes and your timer starts now. I hope you solved this one. It was easy to get full points in this game. The first move of the solution here is rook h5, a discovery attack on this queen while threatening some nasty stuff on this king. Seeing rook h5 gives you half your points out of 10, five points. Now for the variations. It's very important that you see obviously what happens on g takes h5. Here we do not take this queen. If you said queen takes queen, this is wrong. It's queen f5 checkmate. This is an, an additional point for one point. For the second variation, if queen takes queen here, this is worth two points. Knight g5 check on this king. This pawn is pinned, cannot take the knight. So the king is forced back on h8. And now we have rook takes h6 checkmate on this king. This variation is worth two points as well. Finding the defense, knight d4, will give you your two final points here, blocking the trajectory of this bishop here. And here you need to find not queen takes a4, this would not give you your two points. For two points, it's knight g5 check, king h8, and now rook takes h6, sacrificing the rook, forcing bishop takes, and now queen h7 checkmate for your two final points, bringing this all to a score of 10. This game was played between Frank Parr and George Wheatcraft in 1939, London, England. I hoped you solved convincingly for your strength uh, for yourself today, and let me know your score in the comments. I will love to see how people did in this puzzle exercise. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time. Mm -hmm.